right guys welcome back to our channel so today we are in Olentay Tambo I got it right you got it right <laughs> <laughs> so we've passed through this town uh, twice already once for the Sacred Valley tour and another time just recently for the two-day Inca trail uh, to catch the train and we just found this little village so charming that we had to come back and stay for a weekend and explore it fully so that's uh, kind of what we're going to be doing today yeah and we decided to shoot this intro uh, in our uh, hotel uh, garden it's like because it's so beautiful that <laughs> we couldn't resist we thought what a nice perfect place we're so happy that when we checked in here we saw the wonderful gardens everywhere it's lush the landscape is perfect I will uh, show you guys a few shots here in a moment. It's uh, one of those little hidden treasures from the street. You would have never guessed that this was behind the stone wall that you see from the street. And as soon as you walk through, you see this beautiful oasis. It's like absolutely gorgeous. Just seems really fitting for this little town. Uh, it's really awesome. It's really awesome. Uh, we've got mountains all around us. <laughs> That's awesome. Can't complain. No. <laughs> right behind as you probably were able to see before you can see that right now we have all these wonderful retaining walls and great places where we can just sit also with the amazing backdrop of that mountain <laughs> that's awesome if I go quickly up the stairs because I want to spend too much time here showing you guys our hotel room area this is what the property looks like of our hotel we'll put the details of the hotel if anybody's interested in the description of this video but right now, it's time to explore the wonderful town of Olente Tambo. So our hotel is just off the beaten path a little. So we're basically gonna make our uh, way to uh, the center of town. And that's where we'll really begin start exploring. We have a very narrow street here, so we do have to watch it. Uh, the cars will watch out for us because they're nice that way, but there's very little sidewalk. Sidewalk is about 18 inches wide. <laughs> One of the greatest things about this uh, town, Olente Tambo, is that it's actually built on a lot of actual, they're not ruins, these are original Incan uh, walls. Now, maybe not necessarily this one, at this part here, because this looks uh, refurbished, uh, not refurbished, not um, rebuilt basically. Rebuilt. But if you look down, I think maybe some of this might be original. But that is actually one of the super charms of this city, this town, is most of it is built on existing ruins that they've just maintained through the years. And it's awesome. It's like living in an Incan village today. It's actually known as the live Incan village because a lot of the streets, a lot of the houses that are still used today are from the original civilization. Damn, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Good, I could have named this place. Well, from inside the city, guys, we're just walking on these streets and you can see those storage ruins over there that we already talked about in a previous uh, video. Again, go and check that one out if you're interested in the Olente Tambo ruins. There's some over there. We didn't get to explore these. So Jose says, this is one of the best spots to see Angry Man. Uh, I'm having a hard time seeing him. I know the location. I know I'm looking exactly right at him. Thank you, Rooster. But <laughs> I can't quite make him out. But maybe you guys will on screen. Hey 
Okay, so this is one of those original Incan uh, constructions. You see the huge stones, but also the doorway. Uh, they tend to do them trapezoid with that huge stone at the top uh, for earthquakes, apparently. Right there, guys, you can see a good shot of the ruins. We walked on those just the other day. If you didn't see that video, go ahead and check it out. If not, well, here's a really good look at them. Guys, uh, we may have neglected to say at the beginning of the video, but this video basically will have a little bit of eating and drinking, which we don't normally do. But because we're here to show you how to enjoy this town, this to me is part of it. So, uh, we decided, we've been walking for a little while, we decided it was time to get a little beer. Parched. Uh, <laughs> we tend to like this one here in Peru, the Negra beer, uh, is one of our favorites. So. Wind has picked up it's a little, a little bit windy. here. Things are flying around a little bit. But cheers to you guys. Salud. And I hope you're enjoying the video so far. Oh, by the way, we know how to pick it. This is our view from our table right now. Yep. Can't go wrong. But then again, every view is a great view in this town. All right. So we're back at it. We've had our beer. We're refreshed. <laughs> Time to do a little more exploring. It would appear that we have reached the first end of town. Logically, there should be four ends of town. We've reached one. Which means we're going to have to double back and find another end. guys it's time for another break ice cream so i got coconut and josie got mango mango how's your mango it's actually delicious well i would hope so it's ice cream mm -hmm. <laughs> i've never had cocoa coconut ice cream so let's give it a shot mm. tastes fresh yeah it is very Freshly fresh made. 
Yeah, I can taste the coconut all over the place. It's even a little grainy in coconut. That's pretty cool. Hey, there you go. We're having a treat. And we're gonna go to the left. So, start of a new day, more exploring. There you go. We're gonna go check out the train station area, see how much activity there is to you guys so if you guys are ever wondering you know it's like how busy the train area is or how far there you go you'll have that answer um you know one if everybody here or if anybody is wondering if they should be spending the night in Olan Tambo on their way to Cusco to make their life simpler I highly suggest a big yes on that because or else you have to get a bus from Cusco over to Olante Tambo early morning and then catch the early morning trains to get over to Cusco to be able to enjoy your day. That's a lot of travel, it really is. Because from Cusco to here it's about uh, an hour and a half. Half, yeah, about an hour and a half, a hundred minutes let's say. And then from here uh, to Cusco, uh, to Cusco, to uh, Machu Picchu. Thank you, Machu Picchu. It's about two and a quarter hours. So yeah, it really adds up. That's a lot of travel before you start your trekking or even uh, exploring. And this is such a charming town. It's worth taking a day to visit it. Totally. is really quite quiet right now the trains have departure times so it fills up over here and there's a line up to the entrance over here to the station but not currently and this place also gets a little crowded with well people coming off the train going on the train taxis tut tuts <laughs> yeah actually that's a very valuable point when you don't worry when you're coming from Machu Picchu and you're coming back to over here at the station and the train lets you off there will be a lot of taxis over here just yelling out Cusco, Cusco. Basically, I'm not sure what the rates are because we've always had an arranged ride, but they're here to take you to Cusco. So it's like, you know, you, you don't have to search. They're ready and willing to do this, which is awesome. guys so today we are going to explore how to get to the path to hike up to and I will put tag the uh, the actual path name because I don't remember it <laughs> but to get up to the uh, ruins on the other mountains yeah we looked for it yesterday didn't find it so we're assuming a lot of travelers have the same issue we went on the Facebook groups we went everywhere Jose now believes she has found a way so we're going to record the way for you guys so that you can just research this and look pull this up when you need to and there you go hopefully make life a little easier for you guys and the ruins that we're talking about is i'm going to show you right now these over here these ruins that are over here those are the ones we're talking about not the uh big ruins that you have to buy tickets to these are free you can just walk up that path that you can see right there but you got to find the path first. <laughs> All right, so as a starting point, we are starting in the main plaza here in Olenten, Olente Tambo. Right. <laughs> we should be heading that way. <laughs> there you go. So the ideal is to take Calle Principal, which is the main street that basically goes out to Cusco. This? Yeah. Right? It's supposedly the first left after you hit the square. <laughs> Jose believes that this is the street to go down left on. So it's Billard Street, I think. So. 
there's a few indications if you're on the correct street if this is the correct path you have the water canal so Jose what's the next clue that we're looking for it's a pottery shop a pottery with the, shop with the name of the path in it okay And the blue sign says, so El Camino a Cincliana, Yuna. So this <laughs> should be the path, the access way to hike up the ruins. We found it. So as you can see guys, uh, the hike is a short hike. We've been told it's about 30 to 45 minutes. However, it is very rocky, not smooth. It's challenging. But it would be absolutely gorgeous from up above, looking down over the town this way. You probably have a view you can't beat. But we're not doing that trail today, guys. Sorry. Some of these don't touch. <laughs> Little pickies. Yeah, you make goofy faces. I'm going to put you on <laughs> out to the whole world. No bridge. I can't get there. I'm pretty sure the last time I was up there, I left something there, something important. Is it a cookie? <gasps> Was it a cookie? <laughs> Maybe if I could signal those people to look for my cookie. It's not working. Oh well. Alright, so now we're gonna go visit the opposite side of the town, which is the marketplace and the, I don't know what the, I guess these are just the Olentam, Olente Tambo ruins. Guys, it's really hot today out there. So we've been walking around already for a little bit. Time for a little bit of a refreshment. Got ourselves a nice little beer. Pretty much at the same spot where we stopped yesterday. <laughs> the view is amazing. And the beer is cold. Why not? Can't beat it. Yo yo pukapuyiracha. Yo yo pukapuyiracha. Imatanuranki charay hupi. 
stopped again. <laughs> it's lunchtime for us now. And so we've placed our little order. We're gonna have our meal. And well, I got a Coke. I haven't had a Coke in a long time. And you know what? This is gonna end our video guys. Uh, we've pretty much been everywhere along the town. We've seen a lot of it now. So uh, hopefully we answered the question that should you spend the night in Olente Tambo? When you're going to Cusco, uh, when you're going to Machu Picchu, my answer is yes. If you don't want to rush, because the town's pretty awesome, it's a lot to see, and there's great food everywhere. A lot of restaurants. Hard yes on my side. Yeah. The, this charm, this town is just charming all over. Definitely worth the stay. Especially if you stay in a hotel that we stay. Oh man, that is oh, okay. It's a little more pricey than you know uh, some of the other ones here. Oh my God, it was really, really nice. So yeah, you know, gardens, breakfast, everything included. It was wonderful. So we're signing off. Cheers to you guys. Cheers to you, my love. Salute. And you catch us in the next video. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. See you later, guys. Bye.